Hi all, welcome back to C++ tutorial on Tute Fulcrum. This session is on the comparison between inline functions and macros in C++ programming language. Macro is an instruction which expands at the time of its invocation. Functions can also be defined like macros. Similarly, the inline functions also expand at the point of its invocation. So then, what are the differences between the two? One primary difference between inline and macro function is that inline functions are expanded during compilation and the macros are expanded when the program is processed by the preprocessor, which is a stage before the compilation. Based upon how you define an inline function or a macro, inline functions can be defined inside or outside the class, whereas a macro is usually defined at the start of the program. Inline functions evaluates the argument only once, whereas in the case of a macro, it evaluates the argument each time it is used in the code. In terms of expansion, for inline functions, it is just a request to the compiler to replace the code. So the request may be granted or it may be denied. Whereas with macros, macros are always expanded. For inline functions, the short functions defined inside the class are automatically made into inline functions. Whereas for macros, they should be defined specifically. Based upon accessing, an inline member function can access the data members of the class. Macros can never be the members of the class and they cannot access the data members of the class. Debugging is easy for an inline function as error checking is done during compilation. Debugging becomes difficult for macros as error checking does not occur during compilation. So we have seen the major differences between an inline function and a macro and it's just the way they are handled makes the differences. So inline functions as said are passed by the compiler whereas macros are expanded by the C++ preprocessor. So this differences creates the other differences. Let me show you some examples. The C++ preprocessor implements macros by using simple text replacement. Let's say we have a macro. So how do you define a macro? Hash define, it's a preprocessor director. Let's say we have the macro name as sum and let it work with arguments say A and B. And now we are going to define Let's say the macro is defined as A plus B, the sum of the arguments to it. So when the preprocessor comes across any occurrence of sum in the code, then that text will be replaced by the addition of the first and the second argument. So when would one want to use a macro? Usually when what you are substituting for is very simple, and does not justify the overhead of a function call. Remember that function calls do incur overhead. So this statement is going to invoke the macro. So this is going to return an output of 3, sum of 1 comma 2. So this will be replaced by the text 1 plus 2. So if you run, you will get the output as 3. So you could see the output here is 3. So this is how macros works. The reason C++ has inline functions and macros is to eliminate the overhead caused by function calls. However, the trade-off of this is that the program size increases with both macros and inline functions. Remember that inline functions look like regular functions but macros are implemented with text replacement. The fact that macros use text replacement creates potential for bugs. Let me show you an example. Consider this code here. We have a macro that is double of x. 
which is expanded as x into x and within the main I am invoking the same as double of increment of y. So here if you are expecting that j will be assigned a value of 4 squared that is 16 is your output if you are expecting then you will be wrong. Because of the text replacement, because it's a macro, what actually happens here is that double of plus plus y expands like this. That is, this gets expanded as plus plus y into increment of y. So, the present value of y is 3. When you increment, that is, plus plus y will give you 4. So, this is incrementing twice. So, the output of this will be 5 squared that is 25. Let's check the output. So, you could see here the output is 20. So, this problem would not occur if double were implemented as an inline function. Inline functions only evaluate their arguments once. So, any side effects of evaluation happen only once. Another problem with macros occurs with binding. Suppose we have a macro with two statements like add of x comma y. It has two statements x is equal to x plus 2 and y is equal to y plus 2. And now if we try to use that macro with an if statement. If we decide not to use the curly brackets with our if statement, then we'll have something that looks like this. So, if this is the case, how would our macro get expanded? So, this is, our code will be expanded like this, if of flag, that is, if of true. Then, we are invoking our macro. So, this get expanded as x plus equal to 2 and uh, sorry here it is j and k in place of x we have j here so j plus equal to 2 and in place of y we have k here so k plus equal to 2 so when we have discussed about if statement we have seen that if we are not using curly brackets only this statement will belong to the if part this is something outside of the if k plus equal to 2 is not belonging to the if part only j plus equal to 2 belongs to the if part so if you have to include both these statements under if you will have to use curly brackets but if we had used an inline function instead of a macro here the problem shown above would not have occurred this is because an inline function is treated as a single statement. So, the entire function would be bound to the if statement. And also as said, debugging macros is difficult. It's because the preprocessor does the textual replacement for macros. But that textual replacement is not visible in the source code itself. Because of all these, it's generally considered a good idea to use inline functions over macros. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. And please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You'll get notified whenever we upload a new videos. Thank you.